Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. So, I thought I'd change it up a little bit um, and talk about Golden Key, Looney Tunes, Disney, and the kind of odd books that some people love and some people don't collect. But you'd be amazed on eBay and certain places how much some of these books could actually cost. Now, I don't have anything that, there might be a couple that are a little bit more expensive, but the condition of these books, they usually don't last. So, if you got some bright colored ones like this, um, you can do pretty good on eBay. I'm gonna grade a few, tell them, you know, tell you what they're kind of priced at on eBay, what I'm gonna do, and uh, that'll be it. So we'll uh, check this one out, okay? So we're gonna start off with uh, some golden key books. So this is Mickey Mouse. Um, you know, it says Mickey Mouse and Goofy, but you know, you can look it up under Mickey Mouse. This is from 1973. Uh, it's number 145. And it's really bright. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's really bright and nice. Um, a little bit of, of uh, lift on the spine. And a little bit of something here, like a scratch. Um, there's like a little bend here, fold. A little uplift there. But overall, I mean, the book's really bright. I mean, if that's what people are looking for, it's kind of hard to tell in this market because I don't usually deal in it. But I've been looking on eBay and there's actually some, uh, there's a market there. So, the papers are actually pretty good. I mean, the art's clean. Um, because of the little scratch, a little bit of bending, everything else is really nice. Let's see if we can find the staples. Oh man, I remember those bikes. They were horrible. <laughs> well anyway I can't find the staples on this book but this book is because of the scratch and stuff I'm giving it a VG minus now I'm going to end up coupling this book I had a bunch of different ones but I figured you know what I'll make it a, a two book lot uh, Mickey Moose <laughs> Mickey Moose Mickey Mouse uh, from 1974 and this is number 147 so again you know there's a little bend it's got Goofy on there, a little spine wear, little stuff here. Um, it's really cool looking though. Back cover, a little bit of wear. But you know, overall it's not too bad for this age. I mean, a lot of the Silver Age, well this isn't even Silver Age, this is Bronze Age, but they're so big they kind of look like silver. Um, Oh, you get that comic book smell. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but that old paper smell sometimes is uh, brings you back. There's the staples. They're fine, fun ads. This is about VG. So I would put these two books together as a set and sell them on eBay. And I was looking at the prices and I was amazed. In this condition and stuff, you could, I could probably get 20 bucks total. So that's what I'm gonna list these ones for. So here we got Walt Disney Comics. Of course, it's Donald Duck, Golden Key. This is from 1973. It's volume 34, number two. So they would, on these older books, they would do different volumes because these books have been coming around forever. And you'll see other ones that are older, earlier volumes. But this is volume th uh, 34, number two. So it's a pretty nice uh, book. Ooh, happy 50 years. Um, you know, just little dings but again these books are bright now I had a couple long boxes full of old books I kind of picked through them got rid of them all I had to make room basically is for my newer stuff and you know you can only hold on to them so long so this book is really nice though there's a little bit of something here it's not a cut it's just a scrap the 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 uh, color of the pages is bright though. That's white. I would think that would be considered white. And these comics are pretty fun. The staples are good. Um, and on eBay, these are selling all over the place. Of course, I try to sell the, the lowest I can to be the, the best deal out there according to grade. I'm giving this book about a VG fine, which is a 5.0. Most likely it might just be a little bit better or right on the money. Um, and I'm gonna sell it for 10 bucks or try to so next up we have um, Walt Disney's comics and stories 
Um, more Donald Duck. This is a little bit older. It's 1971, volume 31, number 5. 15 cents. Golden Key book. Pretty sharp. The, the corner comes up a little bit. Some spine dings. <clears throat> the back looks good, a little bit dirty. Not too bad, though. Solid. God, I wish I had some of my super key books looking like this. Uh, staples are intact. Probably off white to white on this one. Solid, complete book. These stories are fun. Oh, is that the tramp? Let's see. The staples are good. This is another one of those books that will be sold separately, not together. And I'm going to sell it for around 10 bucks. But solid book. It's probably in VG. I just say VG so that no one gets upset. Could be fine minus. Uh, and we'll move on. So I got lucky and I had a run of Little Lulu. Um, the, the first one's 1973, the rest are 1974, but it's basically number 215, 216, and 217, which is good because people like runs uh, in regard to comp books. <laughs> yeah, I laugh a lot, but whatever. If you don't think it's funny, then you're crazy. So this one is, let's see, let's take a look. A little something here. All these comics kind of roll up in the end. Looks pretty good. I mean, honestly, I would do like a fine, but. Oh, whoop, it, whoop, whoop. Look at that. I don't know. Oh, there you go. Staple alert. Staple alert. Oh, it's still hanging on. Alright, it's barely hanging on. Because of that, we're going to give it a... Oh, well, shoot. I don't know. I guess we'll give it like a VG. It's still alive. A little something here. A little tear, but then we'll fold. The back's clean. Interior is nice. Staples are good. So, fine minus on that one. There's some significant spine roll. A little discoloration thing. A little discoloration. Well, still holding on. So like a VG in that area. But together, since it's a run, if people are trying to complete runs, I'm going to ask for like 20 bucks. All right, I'm gonna f I have more episodes I can do of this, but I wanted to finish up with this book. It's uh, Uncle Scrooge. Now, if you guys don't know, Uncle Scrooge's can be really valuable. Um, I'm not sure if it's because of the artist or whatever. One of the artists. I can't remember exactly. But... In regards to this book, this is a 1964, so it's definitely Silver Age. It's number 49. It's got some stamp from a long time ago. Um, and I really like the cover. I like going, doing a rocket to the moon. I guess they're probably looking for gold. Oh yeah, Lunar Gold Rush. That's not... That's just a... A fold, not a fold, but a, a crease. It's not color breaking. It's got some wear here. Little corner thing. Little number 12 written on it. Someone probably, when they had it, wrote on it. And it's not unusual for old stores to write prices on the books, which is frustrating. A little bit of corner. Little indention, little tear. 
But these are these are more expensive books. Pages are pretty good. It's close to white as you can get, I think. Um, yeah. So nice book. So I was looking at prices and stuff like that, and to be competitive, at least to be the lowest price in this grade, which I would give it uh, probably a VG Plus or VG. Eh, I think VG Plus is a good one. The light's kind of hurting it. But um, I could probably get about 15 bucks for it, so I'm going to go for it. So uh, we'll do another episode later of the rest of the older ones. Um, we got some more interesting things. They're not just Disney. They're like marine stuff and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.